Hello, my wonderful, amazing artists. It's me, Miss Abby, your art teacher. And today, I'm going to give you an art challenge, and that is to draw your favorite animal in three different poses or body positions. Now, a while back, we talked about poses of drawing people. So you can draw a person running or lying down or given a big stretch, but you can do the same thing with your favorite animals. And you can go in three different directions to help you do this. You can use your imagination, you can use observation by looking at, say, online a picture or maybe you got a book, like I found in my Pete the Cat in Space book. I found a picture of Pete the Cat in three different poses. Here he is flying in space. Here he is. Here he is pointing. So four legs are on the ground and one arm is pointing up at something. And here's a bunch of cats kind of sitting on all four legs, sitting up. So that's an example of what I'm talking about. We have one owl flying and then one perched up on a branch. So we're going to draw the same animal in three different poses. And they can be a little bit different or a lot. This challenge is all about drawing an animal looking like it's moving and doing their behaviors. So I'm going to challenge myself to draw my favorite animal. And I think it's hard to pick my, a favorite. I don't think, but I'm going to go with a raccoon because I've been thinking about owls lately and animals in the city of Boston. And just last night, some raccoons rummaged through my garden with their little raccoon hands. And I thought they were really cute. So I'm going to draw raccoons today. But you draw your favorite animal. Whale, dinosaur, dragon, unicorn. Whatever you want. You could even draw your a pet you have at home. I might even try this when I get... I'm probably going to try this also with my cat, Norma Desmond, as well. And I'll show you what that looks like. But let's give it a try. One animal, three poses. Let's go. Ta-da! Here's my drawing and my version of the one animal, three poses challenge. And I drew a raccoon. And as I drew, I got better and better at drawing a raccoon. And one thing I noticed and discovered was that raccoons, if I want to get the color realistic, you have to blend and layer both gray and brown on top of each other to get that perfect raccoon color. I hope you give this a try. I had a lot of fun and it definitely made me a better artist. Bye, have fun making art.